Man, my first four years in the NFL has been pretty dominant. I mean, what can I say? I mean, in my rookie season, we went to the Super Bowl and blew the Packers out 34-0. And niggas ain't see dominance like that in the Super Bowl in a while. And in my second season, we said we not done. We hold the Giants to zero points in our second Super Bowl in a row. And even though Mahomes have been very mid these two seasons, we still been winning. We won the three P. We weren't able to get it cause we lost to the Raiders, who had my little brother on there in the conference championship. And the main reason we lost is because of our offense. But even though we didn't get to go and win the Super Bowl again, I got to see my little brother in his first Super Bowl, and he won it and won Super Bowl MVP. So that's great. But I had one year left, and this year's offense was going to determine if I stay or not. And in this year, we won our third Super Bowl in four years. And of course, our defense carried again. But hey man, since being drafted to this team, I don't want a lot of awards, like crazy amount of them. And just look at my stats since I entered the league. Crazy amount of picks every season. In 2025, I ended up moving the receiver for a game and, you know what I'm saying, my stats got glitched. So that's why I say zero everything. And with that being my last year on my rookie contract, I had two decisions. I could either stay on the team and stay loyal or I can go to a different team and try to lock up a different division. And so I decided to... Well, I... I bet you're surprised with the decision I made. And look, I got dreads now. Now listen, you might be mad or you might be happy I left the team, but I got some reasons for why I changed teams, and I'm finna tell you. Now first of all, my first year on this team was in 2022, and you can see the drop off from when I wasn't on this team to when I joined the team, and my home's so bad, so mid. And yeah, I understand loyalty, loyalty, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, but I'm trying to be on my LeBron shit. I want to win multiple championships on multiple teams, and that's what's going to happen. And honestly, one of the biggest things that made me want to come to this team is they got Tariq Woolen. He's a, he's one inch taller than me, and we about the same speed, so it's going to be a ridiculous duo. Now, the only thing is, uh, yeah, here's my quarterback. He's a lot worse than Mahomes, but I bet you that he'll probably have the same stats that Mahomes did because Madden is trash. But other than that, we got a pretty good team. We got a top running back, top receivers. We also got Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, we did. I did just beat these niggas in the Super Bowl. But, like, you know what I'm saying? We got a pretty good defensive core also. Good male linebackers. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to be good with this team. And also, throughout the offseason, I grew dreads and I got in the gym a little bit more. So, I got a little bit more weight on. And in this practice, I could definitely tell. And throughout this practice, I ain't going to lie. The way that our defense is looking, the way me and Tariq Woodland is looking as a defensive duo, this is going to be nice. Time for my first game on my new team. My first game on my new team against the Commanders. Let's get it. Now, I talked about the reasons why it made me want to come here to the Seahawks, but I didn't tell y'all why I didn't go to the other teams. I would have went to the Raiders, but the thing is that I don't want to be in the same division as I was before. And honestly, I'd rather be against my brother than play with him. And we've definitely talked about this before. We talked about wanting to be on each other's team as a young end before, you know what I'm saying? But in the NFL right now, my mindset, I don't want to do that yet. And But even the family, our family wants us to be on the same Because it will be a lot easier if we're on the same team so that they can go to our games. It'll be both at the same time. It's kind of like the dream for them. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing, though. He's on one year left on his contract for his rookie deal. So if he wants to come over here, you know what I'm saying? We got a good amount of receivers. But DK might end up leaving after this year. So we could use him. Hey, man, if he want to do it, I'll talk to him about it. Coming to this team, seeing the schedule, the first game playing the Commanders, I thought I was going to be able to get my first pick in this game on this play. I died for the pick, but I ended up getting dunked on. I really thought I was going to be able to get my first pick on this team. And then while we're at 14-3, this quarterback decides to test me again. After I almost caught my first pick, I almost catch this one, but we end up just breaking it up. My first game as a Seattle Seahawk, we went 24-10, and we locked up. Now look, man, our quarterback is kind of bad, but look, these are kind of the stat lines Mahomes was putting up. And there were no picks caught this game. Hopefully that changes next game. And now we're playing against our first division rival, which is the Rams. Now look, man, one of my biggest dreams in college, being a cornerback, the top cornerback, I just wanted to come in the NFL be able to lock up every single top receiver. And along with locking up every receiver, I want to be on my LeBron shit, win multiple championships, but win them on different teams. I just won three championships on the Chiefs. I'm trying to win a couple more on this team and then move on. And there's no doubt in my mind, if I can go to multiple teams and win multiple championships with each team that I go to and be the number one corner on each team, I'm going to be the greatest player of all time. Not the greatest cornerback, the greatest player. 
I believe that with the team I'm on right now, I'm going to definitely be able to get a couple championship with this team. I mean, I'm already building a very good relationship with these players. Especially players like Tariq Woolen and Jordan Brooks. They really, they're the main reasons that I came to this team. They, they basically recruited me to this team. And like I mean, as soon as I announced that I was trying to test free agency, them two, they, they was really, you know what I'm saying, trying to get close to me so that, you know what I'm saying, we can have a good bond when we get to the season and stuff. And we could be good. And, hey, man, we looking real good as a defense. Now, offense, on the other hand, is really reminiscent of the Chiefs' offense. Even though they have good, very, very great players, they just don't score for some reason. But we, we have such a good defense. Like, the Rams have zero points in this game. We have seven. And we're still finna in the winning. This is probably the lowest scoring game I have ever played in in my NFL career. Seven to zero. And, I mean, just look at how bad these... Ew, look, their stat lines are ridiculous. And as a team, as a defense, we ain't had no outstanding players, but we play good as a team, though. I almost forgot. Coming to this team means I might have to play against this little fast-ass quarterback two times a year. Now, I don't know what Kyler Murray got going on, but for some reason, off the rip, he tried to, he actually tested me, but look at how he, he threw the ball out of bounds. He knew I was going to pick it off if he threw it right. Second and 10, receiver running and slaying Kyler. That boy throws me my first pick on my new team. We've been logging up this whole game. It's 14 to 7 in the second quarter. And the second quarter's finna come to an end. Kyler Murray can't find nobody to throw to, so he just throws to a check down. They gotta punt the ball. It's the fourth quarter. Offense has been scoring. We're up 28 to 14. I'm in a zone, standing around lurking. And Kyler Murray again? Really? That's a second pick in this game. Damn, man, what a game, 28 to 14. I QB through for four touchdowns. That's nice. And Kyler, I appreciate the two picks. I got my first pick on this team and my second pick in the same game. All right, man, we at home now, and we're playing against the Cowboys, and I don't remember if, I don't know, I don't know when this happened, but Jalen Waddle is on their team. It's first and 10. This is a terrible route combo, so I tried to go pick the ball off, but my teammate ran into me. I guess he was trying to guard his man, but I was trying to catch that pick. Third and 11, we sent the blitz at these niggas, and yeah, that shit got there. Big sack. Hey, man, I don't know what's going on with teams this year, but I, hey, look, if they're going to be trying to test me like this, I'm going to be loving it. Listen, you're not catching no deep ball on me like that. I'm either pick, catching the pick or I'm deflecting the ball. Now, I'm going to lie, sometimes I really hate going to slot because I get dead with routes like that a lot of times. I try to punch the ball out, but he ain't let go. On this play, I saw they was doing the same thing they did last time, and I tried to jump it again, but look, I, I, it just didn't work. Third and two, QB finds a tight end open on the little drag route, and he fumbles, which is perfect because it's the end of the second quarter, and we need some points before half. Offense scored in this third quarter. I know what route bro was running. I tried to dive, but you know what I'm saying? My acrobat wasn't acrobatting on that play. Now look, I'm mainly a man-to-man -man corner, but when I'm in zone, I be trying to bait up, and sometimes this happens. I, ain't gonna lie. I think I ran into one of my teammates trying to bait up a route. That's my bad. The forgotten man on this defense, Jamal Adams, comes through and gets a pick and takes it all the way home for six when the offense is really, really struggling this game. That's a great pick six right there. Of 14 to 0 in the fourth quarter. It's about one minute left in the fourth quarter. They tried to scramble outside, but he can't do that. He ended up throwing an incomplete pass. Then on fourth and goal, they finally decide to run the ball, which is their best thing that they could possibly do in the situation they score. But their offense scored at the wrong time. It's way too late. We went 14 to 7. And our QB didn't even have to pass for 100 yards. Now, look, sometimes if our defense kind of slacking, that's going to be bad. Now listen here, this game I did allow a couple of catches, but the main person I was man to man against was Jalen White, who had one catch for 20 yards. So I did my job. And the only pick this game was from Blitz Boy himself, Jamal Adams, with a pick six. Now look, man, after playing that game, I looked at my schedule again, and week six, I get to play against my little brother, my first time playing against him on my new team. Speaking of Jordan, he's having a pretty good season. He's second in receiving yards with 457 with three touchdowns and 28 catches. But my nigga, do you see Juju's stats? 626 yards, 29 catches, 7 touchdowns. That boy's going crazy. 
But now that we're on the topic of Jordan, we might as well go ahead and see a game. You feel me? It's week five, a game before we play him next week. We're going to see how he's going to do. And also, he ended up getting a new quarterback last offseason. He got Justin Herbert. And last week, he had 386 yards and five touchdowns. So, we're going to see how they do together. Off the rip, I don't even know how this play got this open, but the tight end is wide open on the sideline, deep down the field for easy first down. It's third and seven. And it's the first dumb thing this quarterback did. Jordan's open in the middle of the field, and he decides to throw a check down. They could have had the first down. They're down seven to three, and Jordan told Justin Herbert, look at him the whole time. Throw that ball up. You already know every game he got to get one. He dunks on this safety. Ooh, wee. You know, after getting the catch like that, you have to finish off the drive by getting a touchdown. An easy slant touchdown on Marshawn Letterman. Now they're down 14 to 10 in the second quarter, and he kills Marshawn Lattimore getting a little jig and then getting the first down. It's third and three, and when you need an easy first down, Justin Herbert already knows who to throw the ball to. Right to Jordan for the easy first down. Lil Bro tried to get a little disrespectful, tried to get a jump ball on Marshawn Lattimore, tried to head top him, but Bro wasn't going for that shit. It's 14 13 because they made the field goal, and defense actually playing pretty good. It's third quarter, and they got the ball in the red zone, and then he got the first down. It's 19 to 14 now because they ran the ball in with Josh Jacobs, and he gets open on the slant route for the two point conversion. Now it's 21 to 14. The Raiders' defense this game was playing great. Like, the Saints had 14 points down there the whole time. And honestly, Justin Herbert could have had a better game than this, but I guess they won. That's all that matters. And Jordan had a good game. Six catches, 112 yards, and a touchdown. Also, can't forget that head top. All right, now back to me. We're 4-0 playing against the 0-4 Rams, so there's no way we lose. Right? It's first and 10. They are outside of the field. He could have threw this out route to Cooper Cup, but he didn't. He actually decided to wait for Cooper Cup to run back over here and throw me a pick. Give me that. After catching that pick, I got a little excited. Cooper Cup beats me on this route, but I feel like I could dive on this ball and actually probably put make a play on it, but my acrobat didn't acrobat. Then on first and 10, Cooper Cup runs this little end route. This little ass route. He caught the ball, but bruh, really? That little ass route? Then on second and five, they decided to just run the ball in with Cam Makers and no one block shed it at all. Seven to seven, I'm not gonna lie, I was not ready for this route. That boy killed me on that corner route. Oh my God. It's the fourth quarter and somehow we're down 10 to seven and nobody's going in the middle of the field, so they get an easy touchdown off a of slant. I really don't understand what's going on with the offense right now. We're playing against a defeated team and we're losing 17 to seven. It's not our defense fault, by the way. Taking our first L of the season like this really reminds me of how it was on the Chiefs, how offense was bad. I mean, our QB threw two touchdowns with a pick, and it wasn't, he wasn't real inaccurate, but we needed more from him. And I caught a pick this game and locked up Cooper Cup, but hey, we still lost, though. But now the time has come. It's week six, and we're at my house playing against my little brother, who last week had a pretty good, had a pretty good week last week. We're going to see if he can do that this week, though. Now listen here, if Justin Herbert is going to be aggressive like he did on this play, I'm locking up my little brother. He ends up throwing the ball to a streak route that just standing in the back. I almost caught that pick. Oh, man, I almost had it. Right after that play, Jordan killed me on the release. I didn't even get to put my hands on him. But good thing, Justin Herbert was not paying attention to him. He throws a first down, but it wasn't to my brother, though. First and go. He know he not throwing it to my brother because I was going to pick that off. He just throws it to a little, little route. And coach takes me out the game because I guess I can't do nothing in this part of the field. Down 7 to 0. And they got the ball back. I wanted him to throw this ball. I would have picked it off. But instead, he throws to the other side, which is a touchdown. We're down 14 to 0 now. It's in the second quarter. We still haven't scored, and Jordan beats me over the top. But hey, this is exactly what you have safeties for. They help you. We're down 14 0, so we need anything we can have. It's third down. We stop them. We use a timeout. Offense has a chance to at least try to get a field goal or something. 
another time offense doesn't score it's a second half we're down 14 to 0 on justin herbert i don't know if you know or not but don't ever test me ever again because i'm gonna pick that ball off if that ball is thrown in my direction I caught that pick and they got three points. Offense got three points and on this slant, I tried to dive for this pick, but my acrobat did an acrobat. Now at this point, offense is being trashed and our defense is low-key falling apart. They score another touchdown. So we are down basically 21 to three. That's tough. And I'm just gonna say a top defense with a terrible offense eventually is gonna start playing bad when they get tired. I mean, just look, just look at the, the stats my quarterback had. I mean, you know, and again, I did my job. Jordan had one catch for 22 yards, so I don't know. And I didn't catch a pick on him specifically, but I still caught a pick this game. Man, that's two losses in a row. We got to bounce back.